Today I'm diving into why the DJI RS4 has completely changed my mind about using gimbals on a wedding day. When I first got started into wedding filmmaking, I leaned heavily on my gimbal to help me create those smooth and steady shots. But over time, I ended up using it more as a crutch, leaned way too much on my gimbal to help me create this feeling that ended up being a little bit more artificial and a little bit too perfect. So I adopted a more minimalistic approach, went handheld, and honestly, I thought I would never go back because I love the feeling that I could create by going handheld. And I love the creative freedoms that came along with it. That is, of course, until I tried out the new DJI RS4 and Honestly, I had a lot of fun using this gimbal at my last wedding. But before we get too far in the weeds, for the sake of ethics, yes, DJI did send me this gimbal. No, they are not paying me to say anything positive or negative. Everything that you see and you hear in this video is my honest thoughts and opinions based on my own real world experience after using this gimbal at my latest wedding. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first let's talk about why I stopped using a gimbal for a second. A lot of my grievances towards gimbals stem mostly from the added setup time, from balancing to adding all the knickknacks that you need to really create on the day, or the limitations in creative freedom, worrying about a piece of gear that could potentially get in the way of creating. And while those things are somewhat still true, here are some of the reasons why I think the RS4 helps combat some of the grievances that I used to have. First up is the Bluetooth recording and zoom control features. Now, I remember back in the day, you always had to adjust your zoom with your hands, which made the gimbal feel kind of like a nuisance. But with the RS4, you can adjust your zoom with either the focus motor or with the joystick mode switch directly on the side of the gimbal. If you have a power zoom lens, you can easily navigate the zoom features with the joystick or if you have something like a 24 to 70 or even a 28 to 105, you can still use the joystick, but the zoom that you will get is the clear image zoom, which is still pretty handy if you ask me. So if you need a little bit more flexibility with your zoom, want to get all the ranges, definitely use the focus motor that comes with the gimbal. And with select cameras, you can also trigger the recording without ever having to take your hands off of the gimbal, which Again, I think that solves a lot of my grievances. Next is the Teflon coating, which is something that I didn't know that I needed or wanted until I experienced it when I went to balance the gimbal for the first time because previous editions of any gimbal was always just such a frustrating experience balancing. Things would stick, things wouldn't slide the way they needed to or things would get stuck and it just was so frustrating. But with Teflon coating, it makes it so easy and smooth to balance this gimbal right out of the box, which is such a beautiful feature if you ask me. Next is something you've probably seen with the RS4, and that is the second gen vertical shooting. Now this is just fitting right into our content creation world, especially for me, someone who does a lot of YouTube, a lot of short form, even if you're doing a styled shoot at a wedding and you want to switch between vertical and horizontal orientation. Before with past gimbals, you had to buy additional accessories. You don't have to with the RS4. All you have to do is simply detach it from the plate, flip it into vertical and attach it again, which is just so efficient and something that is making our lives easier as creators when you have tools that are built to create without any kind of barrier. And it just gets you from point A to point B as fast as possible. So I thought that was really cool that they, they added that to the RS4. Inside the RS4 package, you get two battery grips. One is the standard battery grip. That is what I have on my gimbal right now. Makes it a little bit smaller, compact, which is nice. But if you want a little bit more runtime, you also want a little bit more support. Uh, the high capacity battery grip is also really beneficial. And it also makes the RS4 a lot more versatile because since it's USB-C, you can charge accessories, you can charge your camera, you can charge your phone. So it makes it a very versatile solution for wedding filmmakers especially. Now I think when it comes to any tool that we consider adding to our gear pack, we want it to work for us, not against us. We want to be able to expand the creative possibilities with this tool, help us create in a way that has no barrier. 
And I think that's really what you can find in the RS4, especially with the new RSA communication boards. I mean, you can deck this thing out to fit a wide variety of situations. If whether you're a commercial filmmaker, whether you're doing real estate, or if you're a solo wedding filmmaker, especially, I think having complete hands-free operations when it comes to using a gimbal on the day is incredibly beneficial. Now, I didn't get the chance to test out the motor on the day. I really just wanted to keep this setup pretty simple since I did have a second shooter with me and I didn't really need to have everything all decked out into one uh, setup. But after testing it over the last few days, this is just really exciting and I love the possibilities that you can you can do with this thing. And the last touch point that I want to talk about with this gimbal is the payload. Now, you can fit up to 6.6 .6 pounds with this gimbal, which honestly is more than enough from what I've experienced. I have the 28 to 105 from Sigma with the A7S III on the gimbal right now. And I mean, this is a pretty long lens, as you can see. It's, um, you know, and it's attached with the focus motor. And I mean, it's, you know, it's not that heavy, I will say, but that is pretty cool because that gives me a lot of flexibility as I'm creating on the wedding day. Now, another cool feature that was present in the RS3, but something that I'm just now learning for the first time is the auto lock. Now that is just really cool. I was like doing this all day on the wedding. I was like, I can't get over this. This is just such a cool feature. If I want to just quickly turn it off, turn it on, you know, I can lock it. Everything just goes into its own place, which is just really awesome. Uh, and then just turning it back on and everything just, uh, you know, like magic unlocks and I'm ready to go, ready to use it. And that is just really cool. So. A lot of really good things about this gimbal, a lot of fun, creative possibilities that you can use this gimbal for. Um, for me, I think I'm just gonna really keep it simple. I, I love the focus capabilities. I love the Bluetooth zoom, the Bluetooth recording, the battery life is absolutely amazing. So I will probably use this for certain moments on the wedding day, such as uh, ceremony exits, such as introductions into the reception, any tracking. Um, shots that I could uh, see myself using the gimbal for. But the last thing I just want to touch on when it comes to gimbals, yes, gimbals are fun, they're exciting, and I think with the RS4, we're really reaching into just really creative territory when it comes to how we create. And it doesn't matter if you use a gimbal, don't use a gimbal. As long as you are just being intentional with the tools that you use, I think ultimately choose whatever weapon you want and have fun with it. I mean, these tools are designed for us to have fun and create in a way that truly serves our couples or serves the project that we're creating it for. And if it can help you create in a way that makes your life easier, then that is when you know that you have a really powerful tool. And I think with the RS4, we definitely can see that with all of the features that I listed out today. So if you're interested in checking this gimbal out, you wanna learn more about it, I will drop a link down below Drop a comment below and let me know, are you using this gimbal already? What gimbal do you have in your toolkit that you've been loving this year? Either way, I'd love to hear from you guys. So until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace. That's too cool, that's too cool. <laughs>